really quick, Ergot. Team versus team baton race when the first time we have a land, and Lala is just like, no, nah, I'll just run all segments by myself. And she, just, she just beats everyone. It's like not even close. 2.5 was a normal floppy size. 3.5 were those big floppies for unnecessary reasons. Where are these things? Why? Wukong. No, there, there, were, there was three and a half and there was five and a quarter, right? I'm crazy. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. It was five and a quarter. What am I talking about? I'm stupid. I'm thinking of, there were three and a half, thinking of hard drive size. I'm thinking of hard drive where it's three and a half and two and a half. That's hard yep. drive. Yep. Of course they corrupted. If you, like, touch the thing, corrupted. Like you sneeze in its general vicinity. Of course. Who didn't go and just slide the slider over it and just mess around with the little disc on the inside? <laughs> I just twitched a little when you said that. I'm like, ah, uh, that's bad. Of course it's bad. <laughs> when, when would that ever, ever be a good thing? Took all mess, not a perfectly good. That. Many people in chat have just royally effed their computer. Like when they were when they were little. Maybe not necessarily your computer, but just have like totally destroyed one by accident. Well, um, sure. I've done it because I was making. We were when I was young. We were making computers because we had nothing else to do. Yay. Um. And my brother would plug up the computer, turn it on, and I plug the fan in, and I turned the fan on, and it um, surged the the computer, and the computer like CPU fried or something like that. Went, oh! Like, so you're just like, oh, crap. So he had to go and find another working CPU along with someone else's. Because a bunch, of, I think I'm not sure what broke exactly on it, but something fried. It wasn't pretty. You're like, no, oh, yeah, it was terrible. Oh, I am disappointed. I was actually hoping for that karma pick. Karma. You know, karma. I just... I like <laughs> karma. Do you see those? Okay, they can't see them, so I'm not going to comment on it, but that's funny. That move. You can't see them anyway. It's a little just years ago. Oh, the thing? Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of hoping for the karma. Us, if they troll us with picks, we can just, like, tell them what the summoner spells are and, like, completely screw with them. And yeah, Jace Span. Yes, Jace. No, he's banned. Wait. York was not banned. Nope. Wow. What? <laughs> what? Who? Why would they not ban York? Do they have a counter to him? Do they know how to counter York bottom lane, I guess? I don't know. That's really odd. Hmm. Okay. Grabbing Sona for the mic, of, I'm assuming, and I'm assuming Tal's gone by Ezreal, so. And Aish is actually a pretty good Ramus, from what Tal I remember. Tal plays too many effing champions. <laughs> Even I'm even kidding. He'll play like. He, he, I think he, I'm pretty sure he plays like every 80 bruiser. And That's um, what he said. He said he played a lot of. He pretty much played all the 80 champions. Like Jax, Pantheon, Riven, Jace, Ezreal. That's someone he's I, I need to know how to play Pantheon, Wukong actually. Wukong's really good. I think Wukong. He plays Darius. Who doesn't play if Darius? If you give Talith an, an AD champion, he'll figure out if it's good or not. Like, that's how you know if an AD champ is viable. If an AD champ is viable, Talith Pian doesn't play it. If it's not viable, he doesn't play it. They can also play the unviable ones anyway. There was one Jarvan. Just one. Vaticide plays really, really That's really good. odd. There's not a York in sight. York chicken? Yes, York chicken. It's just chicken for York. Maybe the it's York chicken. Oh, let's steal that too. All right. Uh, I need to write down these picks. We have um, Dada here, of course. Then we have uh, uh, Mew Mew. Swain. We have uh, Sauna. And Ramus. Uh, Ace, are you gonna be a good Ramus? Ace is a really good Ramus. Ramus. He plays. I'm I'm spoiled. Um, one of the guys on in my gaming clan plays a Ramus that's just like, unfucking real. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just he's so, so good. But he only plays Ramus, so he'll he'd never get to play it in a tournament. Uh, <laughs> banned. You know? Banned. But oh, I can't play Ramus. As if we want to win a game, we just play blind pick and he plays Ramus and we like win with like really bad team comms. He's like so good at it. This is why you do not play just one champion. Cause then they just ban your one champion and you're screwed.
someone I want to see go top that often actually is Cassiopeia. Not only do I not see her pick that often, she's really good. But I just see her go bot lane. So she's going to go top. We all know Jaja is on new deer is going bot. That's just going to happen. My first ever experience with Cassiopeia and Dominion was watching Tempest EP bottom lane with Cassiopeia. And oh my god, did he just kill everybody. Well, oh, 3v1 defense bottom, no problem. I have like over 75% hit points at the end of that fight. Not, not like, only is what? she good 1v1, but she has her ultimate. And she can just ult the entire team and then just kill whoever she wants to. It, all of her stuff is just like AoE everywhere! All that AoE, yes. Get toxics! Let's just be glad her twin fangs are not AoE people. Because then that'd be Ugh. painful. That'd be we, need, we need time at for spells. That's what we need. <laughs> that'd be so terrible. That'd make... Uh, well, time at's not... Is, uh, anyway, so... You know what? I would make... Uh, that's what I'll make for my worst item. I'm trying to make the worst item in the game. Uh, and I came up with uh, AP HP5 crit. And let's put... Make spells time at effect AoE. I'll make that as my, my worst item in the game. How about something that's negative? Takes away 100 of your HP, 50 of your MR, 50 of your armor, and makes you do 25% less damage. No, no, I had another thought of how to make a really, really bad item. Um, like, you get an item, and it gives you, like, really high stats, but it's, like, reverse frozen heart. It increases your enemy's attack speed by 20%. It's, mm. like, it's really good for you, but it also buffs them as the cost. Like, you look Whoa. at it, like, oh my god, it gives me, like, 1,300 health, and, that's, like, that's not, armor and MR. That's not that bad, because Malphite would get it. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, your or, your increased. Bam. Oh, or the person me. who gets it could just get that in Frozen Heart, and it would just cancel out each other, anyway. Yeah. But still, it's like, what? That'd be a pretty bad item. You get an item that buffs your enemies. Death Cap isn't that bad, it just costs too much. That's the problem. It's, it, yeah, it's really hard to get because it's 1600 gold items that you can't build up it's, to. So it it makes you extremely profile. squishy, and it costs a lot, so in order to get to it, you have to oh, invest a lot of gold I into it. I have done but. this cast. Alright, I'm going to throw it down, i got three minutes. Alright, so, i got to tell you guys why champions have been banned. Okay, oh, right. Jax has an illegal weapon, so he's not allowed in. Uh, Lulu has that little pet, and you can't have pets inside the Summoner's Arena, so that's why they banned her. Um, Poppy, you must be at least this tall to League of Legends. No, that's not gonna happen. Um, Jace's weapon, like, it couldn't go, th it couldn't fit in the X-ray scanner to go through security to get in, so he's not allowed in. Um, Malphite's a rock, rocks aren't people, and the Summoner's people, like, discriminate against that, so Malphite's not allowed in. Um, Kasten's banned for purple. Um, Pantheon's shield doesn't fit to the metal detector, so he couldn't bring it, so they decided to ban him. Urgot has too many legs, so he's not okay. Wukong is dangerously furry, so he's not allowed. Darius is just really effing shady, so you don't want him anywhere near anything. And, um, they pick Ezreal, because, like, Ezreal is extremely blonde, and I heard that if you have enough blonde people on your team, it gives you an advantage. Um, Amumu got picked because it's like the affirmative action thing, like you have to have a minimum number of short people on your team, so he's like the token short guy. Um, Swain got picked because he's got a flock of damn birds, so if the apocalypse happens, then they have something to eat. Uh, Sona plays really good music, so like on your break, you can have her play music, and it's like really chill. Um, Ramus is the affirmative action short character for that team, so that's why he's in. Um, Olaf is blonde, and you gotta have blonde people on your team, because the team with more blonde people wins, so they had to counterpick Ezreal blonde with Olaf blonde, that's why he's on the team. Um, Kog'Maw is, like, a really creepy-ass dog, and are you gonna say no to that Kog'Maw? No, he's gonna, like, eat your cat or something, you're gonna let him in there to make him happy, and he's not gonna eat your pets later. And Jaja's in because, dude, he killed a bear and he's wearing it, that guy's, like, way too hardcore for this world, so he's fine. And Cassiopeia is part snake. So people are like, well, um, I guess we have to allow her in because it'd be discrimination against hybrid people if we didn't let her in. And um, Sinjus is totally fine. He comes here all he comes here a lot. So the bouncers are used to him and they let him in. <laughs> a very good job there. But yeah, <laughs> you said Jaja instead of Udir. Oh, it's fine though. Oh well, Jaja is a champion now. Jaja is now a champion. No problem. Oh man, this thing again. <laughs> oh, Bisky, that's like the happiest thing I've read in chat all day. 
All right, we are going to be going into the game in just a moment. I guess I'll talk like a little bit about the actual team comp <laughs> once we load in. <laughs> it's a possibility. Uh, Jaja is the 103rd champ. Black screen, come on. Come on, black screen. I want like magenta screen. <laughs> Mob screen. If it's magenta, then I think something's wrong. No, it's just because I have my background color set to that, so it does turn magenta. But we are at the in-game lobby screen Dang. thing that shows some artwork. And uh, this is Welcome to the Finals, Game 1 of the DominateDominion.com League of Legends Dominion Tournament number 16. We have Blind Pick Banditos with another consecutive finals appearance going up against Pay's Evelyn Child Support on the top half of the slowing screen. We have Blind Pick Banditos, Zemaik playing as Sona Talith, PA playing as Ezreal Aish, playing as Ramus, Parkhurst playing as Cassiopeia, Jaja playing as Udir. I am Gandare, and casting with me this week is... Digicator 13. And on the Pex team, we have Infeed playing Olaf. We have Captain Blueberry playing Swain. Painkiller playing... Amumu have hearted playing Kogma and Coniferous playing Wayne Singed. Coniferous? He's not a forest. Can oh, I keep on saying Coniferous. I don't care. It's like Confiturus. Yes, that's Confiturus. I'm gonna say Coniferous anyway. Con <laughs> I don't know if it's Confiturus or Confederius. It is. Con there's just a point when I look at your name and I'm just like, <laughs> that's how I pronounce it. This is what you're stuck with. Good. Good luck. You have been renamed. If you, if you buy him RP, he can change his name. Conf but you'd have to give him enough RP to change it back after. It's Confiturus, but it doesn't, it doesn't flow as much as uh, Confederacy. 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 It's Confederacy, right? Yes. We had the discussion. That Are we... Oh, please fine. don't be stuck at the load screen. Are you? I'll pause the game then, since you're stuck at the load screen. Yeah, I'm stuck at the load screen. I don't know what it is with PEX games today. Like, any game that Infeed is in, I have had trouble spectating, because I'm not... Are you loaded in? Yep. I was loaded in for last, oh like... Oh my god, this is balls. I think it's just, just your computer is not... doesn't load as fast as it can. Every other, every other game that I go to spectate is fine. Oh, really? Infeed games. Infeed. Yeah. It's all Infeed's fault, then. Blame Infeed. It, it, it literally is Infeed's fault. He's getting blamed. Well, Alright, um, I'm gonna... Alt F4 and I'll restart. Alright, so I'll just play it, then. Speed it up a bit to try to catch up. Like, yeah, freaking pecs. Oh, come on, man. Well, you know, you have Singed and Udyr by as expected. Ramus isn't actually going top. That's actually a bit surprising. I expect Ramus, you know, roll up top as usually does to be really annoying. I'm gonna try and speculate on. A mic. Oh, they don't have their game open spectating. Oh boy. Guess what? You're casting finals, man. Do it. Oh no, this is gonna be so bad. Sorry, I can't can't help you. But you do have the good old Mumu bandage toss, but he did get taunted by Ramus. This is to be typical typical pokes and pokes for days. Nothing really totally specific going on up top. It's still neutralized. Mumu does get a nice banish toss, and Cassiopeia drops, but Mumu drops to the true damage from Olaf. Actually, no, from Sona. Power cord, probably. And Olaf just drops to, uh, acid. Something flux. Essence flux, yes, essence flux. Swain gets away, and Kogma is still there, actually, but he's all by himself. He. This is not gonna be good for him. He's actually gonna get trapped out by himself, and he's just gonna die. Yes, he's gonna drop right there. A nice Spanish toss by Mumu. Along with Swain, he's gonna get that Ezreal. And a good axe, actually, from Olaf is also gonna get Rambus. But Cassiopeia is gonna try to stall that for as long as she possibly can. But she's kind of just stuck by herself and she's gonna get Bandage tossed by Mumu and she. But Ezreal gets Swain, it's a very nice job actually. But she still does get. Cassiopeia does get dropped by both Kogma and Amumu. The point is still neutralized, it's actually a very long neutralized point. 
They're trying to grab the point, but it's not working out in favor. It's a 3v3, but Mumu jumps in and he alts. Oh, oh, very nice. But it doesn't work out in his favor, actually. Mumu does get dropped down. And so does Ramus. He gets caught by the Swain Snare. Ezreal is still alive, but he's very low, so he won't be able to do much. He'll be able to stall. But it might. it's probably just going to get taken by Team Pax. And it is. That was a very long neutralize, actually. Check it to the live game, live game, live game. Sona is actually going to take the storm mode. That's a bit surprising. She does have nice poke, but. Mm, actually, I'll probably work in her favor. Pretty good Sona. Really good Sona. Looks like they're just waiting for their team, Ezreal, to get up top. Meanwhile, Pex is actually slowly making her way to top with Olaf getting the mid relic. Nice pokes from Kogma there, using his ultimate to do some damage. And Team Pex will just not let those minions try to take out the tower as much as possible. But they did take out a nice a nice chunk of it. That looked like Udir was trying to get bot, but it wasn't so favorable. Oh, Amumu almost drops to the... Oh, that's a very nice ult from Cassiope, actually. It will get Amumu there. Olaf is almost low. Ramus will taunt. But will he die in the process, actually? No, actually, it looks like they both will back up and will be just A-OK. -okay. Oh, a nice Ezreal Q will actually pick up Kogma. Swain will grab Cassiopeia with that slow, a very nice slow. The point is neutralized, so it's a 3v2, and they all have not that much HP, but oh, so close. Snare almost, almost got them both. Talpia is going to drop down, and oh, very nice. They actually did get all three of them, but just two of them, but they're very low HP. But the other guys are dead for 13, 15 minutes, so they will capture this point. Very nice job there. And treating it from Olaf is gonna be pretty painful. It's gonna hurt a lot, especially for since in this game mode people build a lot of armor and MR and health. So, well, more armor and MR than health. Health. You have standard like Udir Bai. He's just pushing, trying to push the lane using his Phoenix stance. Team Pex is coming up from their side. It looks like they all went back, but now they're focusing. I don't agree with focusing on Ramus. Amumu also gets all four of them, but he still drops to Cassiopeia. A very nice axe from Olaf actually gets Sona and Cassiopeia, and Olaf also dropped. It's still in Pex's favor. Two Throw on KDA when you get a chance. Right, thank you for reminding me. Sorry, guys. It is just Ezreal versus Swain and Kogma. Kogma trying to throw them pokes out with his ultimate. Pretty much landing them. Doing a pretty decent job. What is he building actually? He's building an AD. Okay, so I'm expecting AD Kogma with a nice shred. Kogma tried to sneak it up, but didn't work out in his favor actually. He's gonna get. I said Ramus, I mean. Slowed, but he is just fine with that shield. It gives him extra bonus armor and MR. He's gonna do just fine, get away. Meanwhile, Sona and Amumu are both by trying to do some something down here. Get the stall lane going. Sona's probably trying to take the point along with Udir, but Udir is just pushing with his Phoenix stance. And Mumu is actually coming around and might catch Sona here. Oh, but just just walks away, just leaves her alone. It is a 2v1 top currently, but Kogma is just waiting in the wings for something to go on. And Mumu and Swain are all in this bush. And they do catch Ramus up there, but they're trying to catch. And they do grab him. Oh, very nice vantage toss, actually. Oh, that ult gets through all three of them. But Cassiopeia still drops the Swain. Nice CC. Ramus. They look like trying to grab. Oh, they do get Ramus. It's very nice. That true damage, like I said. Pretty, 
pretty decent amount of damage there. The true damage, Rams can't do anything about it. But get HP on this map. HIMs aren't exactly galore. But oh, almost gets to neutralize. Almost, but that fling just barely saved that point. And now he's just trying to stall for Olaf to get bottom, which looks like it's going to work. He's going to be able to push him away, and he's going to be able to go back and heal. Very nice job there. And Olaf's actually engaging on him, but he doesn't have his axe, so he can't constantly slow. Oh, there is a 2v4 up top, actually, and Cassiopeia does kill both Mumu and Swain. Kogma is trying, trying to throw some pokes out to disrupt that, but it's not going to get Cassiopeia and Sona, so it's not going to work. They're going to go get that point. Trying to get dominion away from the tower. You don't want your minions pushing over the tower because you cannot recover that. It recovers over time. I'm not sure what to call it. I'm gonna call it health, but it's kind of not. Cassiopeia does actually catch the entire team walking around there. But Ramus walks right into them and it's not really good at all. He's not gonna get focused though. Actually gonna switch up towards Cassiopeia and Ezreal. A nice amount of damage from that true damage on Cassiopeia, and I'm gonna pick her up and almost no. A moon would have get picked up by Ezreal, but um, Ramus does get away actually. Udir is really low. It's not gonna be pretty, but oh, that was very nice. Just to see it, Mana CC on top of him. Kogma should probably leave. That's a lot of damage being done by Sona there. They're just trying to lay that as much as possible. Oh, he is so low. Oh, she does get a nice kill off and gets both of them actually. Oh, and Ramus comes in to taunt, and Sona is able to grab uh, that kill. Udi is just straight up ignoring Singe bot lane. Just pushing Phoenix stance, using Turtle stance to get some health back. Really, that's it. Trying to get some flings off, but it's not really working. Just Turtle and Phoenix, but a Mumu is coming down and let's get a very nice vantage toss off actually. With some nice CC, they might be able to do, but he's really fast. Another vantage toss, very nice vantage toss. The stun won't be able to get that fling off, so that was a very nice stun. He's trying to get that fling off, but it didn't work out. So I'm not actually coming, but looks like Udir will go back and someone will just hold this lane, but so is Sin. Sin is going back as well. Meanwhile, top. I heard Dito's actually trying to push to the mid lane. Swain is actually going to come around and find a Ramus. He doesn't want to exactly jump into that bush because getting taunted by that is pretty much certain death for all the people around there, actually. Moo does get taunted, but it's just a Moo It's not really going to make that. I don't just jump over the wall. Oh, very nice job of Kogma there with that long range. And the amount of CC on him was really nice. Meanwhile. Oh, so close. Uh, um, Cassiopeia does get a good all off on. Olaf, there we go. Bad names here. Ramus comes around but gets oh taken apart, but Ezreal and him also pick up Kogma and Amumu at the meantime. Someone's gonna get picked off here. She is that was just yeah. mispositioning right there. Meanwhile, Olaf's gonna try to get some damage and some nice CC all farm. That is a very good garrison actually, it's gonna be able to prevent that tower from doing too much damage. And it looks like Bantuk Dio is trying to run up top as fast as possible, but they do gotta neutralize off on. They are going to pick up Ram is there actually. Olaf is gonna die as well. Kogma looks like he's gonna drop to Cassiopeia's ease, but she also drops to Kogma. Manfred Gutierrez has just shown up. They might have just used Revive actually. 
They're trying to pick up a Swain. A very nice taunt is going to secure that, and they're going to be able to take the top point since none of Pex is up there. Olaf is just walking up there, but he's going to be too late. And Jaja Onudir is still pushing that bot lane, just not minding. Singed at all. Just. Um, Phoenix and Turtle, Phoenix and Turtle. That's all you have to do. Meanwhile, Bindpeg is actually pushing down the mid. It's going for Olaf. Olaf's gonna be able to pick. Oh, that was a miscue. He's gonna be able to pick up Cassiopeia there, but he's gonna get hit by Ramus and taken out. Meanwhile, Ramus is gonna actually get picked up here. He's gonna get so Oh, a very nice Sona all. Actually, Brent stuns all three of them, and Ramus might get away. Maybe? Yes, he's very fast. He's gonna go away just fine, actually. You see Swain grabbing that relic mid. He's got some nice range, so that poke's gonna be pretty good. Along with that, how much damage is right now? Oh, it doesn't say. Uh, never mind then. Oh, Cassiopeia is gonna get the relic for her side. Oh, that's gonna be so much better. She can throw down her Q and just E everybody. It's gonna do a lot of damage quick. But, oh, that was a very nice vision. But I don't know Ramus is there. Ramus is on his haunt. But there's no there's no one on his team to follow him up. His entire team is like split off. Yeah, look at that way. A very nice as well. Taking some damage out of everybody, actually. Just poking at this at this time. They're just poking. And they have a decent amount of pokes on the Blind Pick Dito's team, so. They were able to push him away actually. Looks like both Amu and Kogmar are actually gonna go back and heal. But they both cancel their Oh no, Amu misses a bandage toss, but he does get his all off to do a nice group stun and all off is gonna be able to grab Sona there. But Amu is gonna get taken away by Ezreal and Ezreal is also gonna be able to get Mumu. Kogmar has to back up from this. Meanwhile you got Swain going bot trying to do something for the other team there while just Jaja is just just dealing out a lot of hurt while taking like no damage doesn't mind at all nice CC stun very nice he might be able to pick it up actually he will he will be able to get away just fine and taking minimal damage it's very tanky and has decent amount of CC Oh, a very nice Amumu bandage toss. Actually, he's going to be able to pick up Cassiopeia and still want to drop to the true damage from Olaf. But currently, Sona and Ramus actually do come up top, and Olaf gets grabbed. A very nice stun from Sona there. And they look like they're trying to grab Amumu in a process. Amumu does try to get a stun off my Ezreal, but it is not enough. Red team has captured the drill. They were able to neutralize this actually, and uh, Pex actually got it back, so it's pretty good. Ramus is actually going by, he's gonna try to take this point, and Udyr is probably gonna, he's just gonna push this lane. Gonna push the lane. Get it about to one third down, actually, not bad, pretty good. But three members of the team are actually over here, actually, four members of Pex's team is down here, so they will not be able to neutralize that point. There are three members of Blind Hook Deal's team. It, but it's Cassiopeia and Ezreal versus Olaf up there, but I won't be able to do much with him on a point like that. Trying to get some pokes from Kogma out. They do know where Sona is, they will be able to just grab her. Oh, very close manage toss, but not close enough. Very, very nice Cassiopeia ult. And Mu does grab Cassiopeia. Rampage. And shut down. Also, um, Kama does grab Ramus actually. Oh my! Well, that's very low. These people, these two are both low. Oh, that was a very nice job there. He, Kama will be able to pick up Ezreal though with that little that passive. I don't even know what passive is called actually. Udyr is able to actually neutralize bottom point. He has three people coming on him. That's a very nice nice neutralize there. Remember it's 1.5 points. So it'll be 1, 2, 1, 2 from the Nexus Health, which is always, always beneficial. It will add up slowly over time.
Moon is going to grab that point while they are trying to just. Oh, he's so tanky. Just, he has a decent amount of damage. He's two Dorn Shields and a Froze Force of Nature along with with Senna and a Trinity Force. That's pretty tanky right there. Meanwhile, it's three. Mumu is going to grab, but oh, a very nice fling. That is going to seal a deal for Cassiopeia there. Rams is trying to run away. He's kind of cornered, but he is able to use his roll. I'll call it roll. Oh, he is able to capture. So he's able to capture Rambus there, actually, but not doing much damage. A garrison goes off from uh, I think the Mbio's team just to prevent that, and Swain does go down, but so does Rambus along with Ezreal, and so does Kogma. But that passive is very nice. He's very low. Swain is since is very low going down but Olaf was able to grab bottom actually and it's just trying to lay at this point but Udyr is able to push him away and Cassiopeia is able to just take the point while Olaf just goes back to heal because he can't really do the much there has captured the windmill. blue team has captured the quarry Sona is constantly grabbing this relic mid. She just has so much poke. It's gonna be so very useful. Do a decent amount of damage. I think it's like a 400 AOE nuke. It just scale. It does scale with time, so I can't totally tell you off the top of my head, but it's a this decent amount of damage. It's not totally nothing. Amu does get a very nice alt, and so does Cassiopeia, along with Ezreal. Very nice combination alt, but Cassiopeia still does drop, and so does Amu with Sona. Kogma is taken out by Sona and Singe is able to take out Ezreal actually. Singe is also able to take out Sona with that poison trail, it's very nice. He might try to get a slow off here and a toss, a nice toss. The slow was the wrong direction though, but... Oh, so very close, so very close. Living with... 100? Wow, that's actually that is 100 HP. Oh, Olaf has no idea how close he was actually getting it. The true damage is looking to be a lot of true damage, actually. Not much you can do about it because it is true damage. All you can do is get more HP. Meanwhile, Cassiopeia and Ezreal are trying to do something up for this top point. But four people of the enemy team are up there, and it's just them two, but. They do have Sona and Rammus, but they did get shown by Kogma's ultimate. So they do know that they are all there. They're just gonna back up. Looks like they're trying actually gonna go by because Enfi is just doing a lot of damage, but he is gonna get caught and stunned. And he is gonna drop to that Phoenix Sands. Meanwhile, Pex is actually coming up on his Cassiopeia. Looks like they're trying to just grab her, actually. Oh, uh, Kogma alt misses, but the slow does not. That's a very nice shot by there, by Kogma there. Meanwhile, Pex is actually trying to take their midpoint. Ezreal is not going to have any of that. He's going to use his alt to prevent that. Udyr is also up top here, surprisingly. Sona Rammus are actually able to take the enemy bottom point. And a very nice Samumu ult. But he still gets drops. Along with Cassiopeia, Kogma doing a lot of damage there. Singe and Ezreal do both die at Poison and the Q alike. Ezreal does pop their revive just to get back into action a quick bit faster. Swain is a bit low. As well as throwing the Q out, just checked, face checked these bushes. I mean, bush, bushwhack, shall we call it? It's called bushwhacking. Oh, execution is calling. It's going to prevent any healing from happening. As well going to try to just poke Painkiller away. Doing a nice amount of damage, actually. It does have last whisper, so 4% of your armor is just pretty much gone. Along with 12%, but that's all. That's almost good. 
He's just trying to delay them as much as he possibly can. A nice slow from Singe, but just with a shift, it's not going to be good enough just to catch both of them. Meanwhile, Swain is actually trying to take Tabaramus, it just stops that stop that point from being taken over. And a nice fight. The Moomoo just gets taken out like instantly, but... It looks like... Oh, oh no, he does not get away that time. He does actually get taken by Swain's birds. Cassiopeia is getting chased away by Swain here. This is like... I mean, since Swain looks like he's actually going to be able to grab the point. Almost, almost. Not so. Someone is just cues and doesn't want that to happen. Red team has captured the window. She is kind of pinned here, actually. A very nice off from Sona does prevent that from happening. Oh, and a nice Q and E from Sona and Cassiopeia do get singed. But meanwhile, Bot. Well, also, he's going to get picked up by. Yes, he gets picked up by Ezreal. He was trying to get grab that point, but they're trying to make sure that Amumu does not get this point. Seeing that Udir is going to be able to grab that, no problem. Amumu does give it a nice alt, but. It doesn't look like it's going to be good enough. Meanwhile, the top, Sona dies to Kogma, just shredding HP. They are going to neutralize this point, bottom. Olaf will say he's going to try to take it, but Ramus is just going to prevent that from being taken over, actually, by the red team. My favorite idea is actually, looks like they're getting top uncontested. There is nobody on an enemy team up top, so they're just going to get that one for free. That's what's going to arcane shift out. I'll also doing some nice damage. That true damage is very, is a lot, very a lot of true damage. I think it's like 400 now. 304. Yeah, that's a decent amount. Looks like Olaf is going to take this point while the, his teammates push them away. As well as just trying to get as many face shots as possible. But a very nice bandage toss from Mumu is going to just stop that. They're just going to get pushed away as Ramus shows up at the fray and they're just getting poked for days it seems. He just gets taunted. I don't know if that was a great idea actually, but oh Swain is so Singe is so low. But the Moomoo and Ramus do both die. Singe is going to be at like the worst possible place he can and so it looks like she's being chased and caught by Olaf, so that was a very nice job by Olaf there. With that slow and that true damage just Adds up over time to be a lot. Oh, a very nice ultimate from Cassiopeia, actually. But that counter garrison will just prevent. Oh, ooh, a very nice. What is it? Reckless swing. He's barely able to survive, and there's nobody from the Bankagodito's team actually to come and stop this. This is a very close game we have here. The round one, the first finals, match one. Oh, prevents that from being taken over actually. Ezreal yeah, is going to very closely. Oh no, but a minions grab minions are OP. We all know. And it does look like, yes, Kogma is going to die to Sona. It's just a Mumu. Mumu Ramus versus. I mean, a Mumu versus Ramus and Sona. He does look like he has. Yes, he does have Thornmail. Oh, he's gonna just get picked up right there by Swain. And along with, yes, along with Ramus, Swain gets both Ramus and Sona. Kakiopia is, is gonna try to stall all this for as, excuse me, as long, oh, but a very nice banish toss and a snare to follow up with that CC chain. Amumu is very low and does get taken out by Cassiopeia, but a 3 the top versus one Ezreal. They are gonna be able to take this point very easily. Since it's just flinging and poisoning Ur Udir, and Udir is just gonna just push the lane, try to push the lane as fast as possible we can with that. Phoenix Dance. Sorry about that. Oh, very close, but not close enough. Almost gets that, actually, but they do prevent him from get Olaf from getting that mid relic. And Ezreal does pick up that kill. Very nice auto attack and arcane shift. Sonal does grab and Ramus is able to grab Kogma actually. A very nice salt. 
again from Cassiopeia is able to grab both of those two and they are able to pick all of the remaining team, team members up. This is like Sona and Ramps are going to be able to neutralize and possibly take top while Cassiopeia is trying to probably neutralize mid. Not going to be able to do it with Olaf there but it's going to probably just try to distract as long as possibly can while Olaf is just, I mean, Udyr is just pushing bot with Phoenix Dance. Just keeps constantly pushing bot. They're both trying to push back and forth so bot lane is just push fest apparently. Olaf is gonna get taunted actually but no ultimate not gonna be able to get out of actually it's just gonna get taken down by Cassiopeia and Sona. Shut down. Twelve left. Will they be able to kill both of them and take over point? Oh we will only be able to get actually only Oh very nice manage toss. Able to take down Ezreal. But they are able to neutralize for Oh, they are able to neutralize with two points left on the clock. If they can hold this for 55 points, then they will win this game. That was a very nice, very nice kills up top there. They were able to get to that point. But they're all leaving. Mumu is and he's grabbing some health. They need people up there just to prevent this point from being taken over. It's not what you want to happen. Looks like Bindpick is slowly making their way up. Cassiopeia is already up there. Ramps is rolling in and actually might be able to know a defensive garrison, but he gets dropped immediately. Swain just the damage coming from Cassiopeia and Ezreal was just too much for him to handle. The very nice all from Cassiopeia is able to grab two members. And it is just Amumu and Kogma versus Ramus, Sona, and Ezreal. And as well as be able to take that point over, and let's see what's going on. But able to grab that point, so game one goes to blind.